everyone welcome to the vlog it is lynn again i have been going through a lot of exciting things a lot of stressful moments too because i have been trying to hash out the rest of my thesis work on my final projects for class because i'm graduating soon so everything is just happening too quickly and today i have a gala to go to and i also have one to go to tomorrow two days in a row as you can tell I've chosen to wear this dress. In the last couple of formal events I've attended, I've been wearing more masculine suits. And I altered this really cool suit for a ball I went to last winter that is backless, inspired by Peter Doe. And I did it a couple hours before the event. And I thought I would rewear that because we love rewearing. I love showing off my back tattoo. But I haven't done a feminine moment in a while. I can do both. You know, I can do both. So I thought it would be the moment to wear this dress, except this dress is too long on me and the doors open to the gala in two hours and i think i can do my makeup and hem this dress in two hours i learned how to sew in middle school but i've recently picked it back up when i was in college i have my sewing machine here and thanks to skillshare i've been able to dive back into my creative and artistic passions i've been partnering with skillshare since high school and it's my favorite online learning community offering thousands of classes for creative and curious people alike to explore new skills develop existing passions and thrive in creativity Plus, Skillshare has everything you need to go from passion to paycheck or support your side hustle. There's a lot of hobbies I want to pursue post-grad and that includes sewing and making my own clothes. Their learning path, learn to sew, all the skills you need to make your own clothing has taught me the ropes of using fabric, needle, thread, a sewing machine to upcycle my garments into something new or alter my clothes so they'll fit me better. Skillshare is built for learning, meaning there are no ads and they are always launching premium classes so you can stay in tune and follow where your creativity takes you. The first 500 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start your creative and learning journey today. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Okay, everyone, I miraculously got this dress to fit me at the hem and I did not do any sewing. I don't have any time to, I thought I would have time to, but it took me an hour to trim all the layers as evenly as I can. If you look close, it's gonna look, oh, it's not gonna look great, but I'll fix it at a future date. I definitely have time to do the rest of my makeup and to eat 
and be on time. Oh, I don't know why I put myself in these situations. I should've just decided to wear something that already fit, but I need people to be gagged. I gotta keep people on their toes. They gotta be surprised. I don't think anyone expects me to wear a dress today. And like Victor Nikarov from Yuri on Ice said, what's the point if you can't surprise people anymore? The gala is at the Spy Museum, which I have actually never been to, mainly because it's one of the museums by the National Mall that you have to pay to get into. People have been questioning if the venue will be nice or not, but I think it will be. I looked up photos and I'm like, dang, people have weddings there. And I don't think the dancing will be happening in the exhibits, but if it was, that'd be really cool because the lighting in the exhibits would be a vibe, kind of like that one episode of Abbott Elementary where all the teachers sleep over at a museum with the kids. And you know, there's that, that Janine Gregory scene, you know, in the blue light. I also have not gone out a ton this semester. I mean, for the most part, I do prefer to stay at home or do chill activities, but I love dancing. I love listening to music and being around other people. And I love an excuse to get dressed up and take photos and be with friends. I'm not sure if anyone else's mom tells them this, but every time I call my mom, my mom is like, oh my gosh, Lynn, you have to enjoy your 20s. This is the best time to take photos and have fun with your friends. And I'm like, mom, you are also like very beautiful at the age of 50. And you also know how to have fun. I also don't remember the last time I did like a full glam, like sans to glasses. I'm doing my standard smoked out look. I recently took my yearbook photos and I also have my grad photos scheduled. I realized no one told me. Well, not that anyone noticed, but I noticed. I did my eyeliner slightly asymmetrical that day and I'm just looking at the photos. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> I just did my egg yolk salad and I'm gonna do my lids. Just a little bit of glitter. The best part. Oh, I haven't used glitter in eyeshadow look in months. It's so pretty. Okay. Yay, now I just have to do lashes. Okay, are y'all ready for the reveal? Yeah! bibbity bobbity boo bitch. I'm literally my own fairy godmother. Hey. Okay, so I'm very happy with how everything came out. It miraculously came together, even though I did it all in two hours. <laughs> However, I can't tell that the way my hair is done and the fact that it's blonde right now, if I look like Cinderella or if I look like Prince Charming from Shrek. Fiona, it's me, Fiona. Anyways, I just want to eat a light dinner because I had a late lunch. I have the classic frozen dumplings. Ow, oh, fuck my chopstick. Good. Mm -hmm. 